Welcome to the van. Starting with these drawers, right when you walk in, honestly, it's mostly empty. I have my tea, notepad, little things that I might need quick access to. All of our toiletries, mostly mine, but Nathan's fit in here too. And down here, got medicine, travel towel, first aid kit, pretty much anything else you need. Got our two little travel chairs, the best $7 we've ever spent. Bungee cords, keep absolutely everything from falling. All of our knives, foil, anything, utensils. Kitchen towels. And this is our, anything we need to fix, you need something and you don't know where to find it, start here. We've got extension cords, bug spray, clips, tape, and lots of trash bags. This is our camping grill, it runs on propane. The absolute best part of this entire van, the thing we're most proud of, We've got a five gallon blue bucket in back. Oops, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oops, that's bound to keep happening. So we've got this little bucket here that catches most of the water. And then back here, we've got a refillable five gallon bucket. Not sure yet if we're going to just refill that or keep dumping water in on top. That was pretty hard to get back there. Got all of Nathan's important spices, because let's be honest, he'll be doing most of the cooking. And pretty much just your oils. We do have our AeroPress. Coffee is a must. This is our biodegradable soap that we're going to try to use for absolutely everything we need. The one other thing down here, besides our extra soap, is our, what is this called? Here we have our electric kettle. It does require a plug, but I think it'll be very helpful when it comes to cooking and coffee and just anytime we need really instant hot water. Underneath here, we've got all of our kitchen things. Mostly cast iron pans, a couple bowls, and about three plates. Plenty of cups though, lots of mugs. Here we have our pantry. Currently we've got all of our dry food stored in this one bin. Most likely we're going to move down to the second one, which is what we bought it for. But right now I have all my electronics in there. Here's our closet. Right now, we can fit all of our clothes for the next few months in just two individual bags. If you see, Nathan's is actually pretty empty, but that's not surprising. And here's the bathroom. Our favorite purchase thus far. Oh, that's an issue. Here's our toilet with a little bucket lid. And if you look inside, a friend suggested to use pine pellets because they give a nicer aroma. And here is my stool to get in and out of bed. On the left here, we have our two tapestries. One's actually a shower curtain from a friend. They are going to cover the windows so people can't look at us while we sleep. Sunglasses. Currently, this is just a little throw towel for me when uh, I get cold while we're driving. Up here, we have Hopefully, mosquito netting to cover the windows at night in case we want to breeze, um, but to not let all the bugs in. Here we have our cooler, aka our fridge. It's mostly just stacked with boots. Nathan has to do all the shopping. Up here, we each get a hook, an up close mirror, hats, towel to dry your hands, a little air freshener in front of the toilet, and right here we actually have a pop out table so we can do our work or take it out and use it while camping. I'd also like to point out that all of my shoes for the whole summer fit underneath the passenger seat. I'm very proud of that. And this is our luxurious four foot by six foot bed. It even comes with a four inch memory foam complete with our old uh, duvet underneath just for added comfort. My personal absolute favorite, the chandelier. This is the back of the van. This is sawdust. It can either be used for the toilet or to start fires, kind of like kindling. This bucket right here currently has our, what is it? Pine nuts. Pine nuts. 
This bucket right here currently has our pine nuts in it for our toilet specifically to make it still smell nice and pretty. I'm not really sure if that's gonna work. This is just a little toolbox, just in case we need to fix anything or take it apart for any reason. This is a drill to also help with all of that. This is just our backup water. I think it's kind of funny to have a two gallon backup water instead of a five gallon, but that's okay. In here has all of our camping equipment. We've got our sleeping bags and tent, lantern and a hammock. On this side, we've got a tarp just in case. This is an ammo case full of change. I can only imagine how many tolls we're gonna go through, um, showers that we might have to pay for at campgrounds. There's a lot of things that you could need change for on a road trip, so we have plenty. This bag has our tubes, so in case you find a beautiful lake to float down or a river, we've already got tubes. It's one of my favorite summer activities. Here we've got our extendable squeegee to wash the windows and make sure if there's something out of a window, we don't have a big giant uh, bird poop or bug in the way. Jumper cables, some uh, balls to play with, football, soccer ball, softball. I think we even have a bocce ball in here. Back there is my backpack. If we were traveling through Europe like we should have been right now, that's the backpack I would be using. It's the backpack I'm gonna use if we ever go through hikes.